Welcome to Romagne, a little village in the northeast of France. Here we find the Museum 1418, where its owner, Jean-Paul de Vries, keeps the memory alive of the soldiers who lived and died in the First World War. In a series of short videos, Jean-Paul will show us some highlights, all found on the former battlefields within a few miles from his own museum. Yeah, the barbed wire, uh, an invention. It was an American farmer who invented it just to put around his fields for his cows, but nobody knew that he became a millionaire with that because meant for animals. Afterwards, we discovered in warfare it could, it could stop soldiers. It's uh, look at this one. It's every two centimeters you got a pick. Every pick is two centimeters long. If you look nowadays to the barbed wire in the fields for our cows, or uh, what they use all over now, it's every 10 centimeters a pick. And the picks are only one centimeter long. So this has been made against men, which is 10 times as dangerous as against uh, cows, animals. And made for against a soldier means to stop it. Because if you have to attack, you got to go out of your trench, go to 10 meters of barbed wire, then have no man's land, and then you got there. 10 meters of barbed wire to get through. You got stuck with your clothing, your weapons, your equipment, you got stuck. And the moment you're stuck, you have to put yourself loose. You can't fire back, so you won't be able to use your gun. And that's the moment you're an aiming point for the enemy. And to get away with this barbed wire, men were sent then to the battlefield at night to make openings for the day after the attack. You had an easy alley to go through. And if you look at the differences of the materials they made to open up the barbed wire, you should see two tools, the French and the German. Look at this one, how hard it is to get the barbed wire, because it has a little beak. This one, just aim it a little bit and it will catch the barbed wire straight away. French discovered that later on, that it was so difficult to really aim to get the middle of the barbed wire, that afterwards they produced a little beak on it. The French even had a tool they could put on their gun and you had to put the barbed wire in it and then pull the trigger off your gun so the bullet will cut through the barbed wire. Can you imagine? Every cut is costing one bullet, makes a noise so the enemy knows where you are, so they can shoot at you. Very not logic made. But during war, like I told before, we will develop, we will invent new things. And if you look at the barbed wire nowadays, it's even way more better in between gimmicks because it's like little knives, what is it, 10, 12 on one square centimeters, and the moment you got caught in your clothing, you don't move, because every time you move, it will cut into you, into you, into you, to the bone. So we develop our stuff so well just to harm people, and I'm not even talking about the infections afterwards from it, because this barbed wire is rusted, uh, all bacteria on it, so that will be a harmful thing, but it will be better and better during the century and now we have now a barbed wire, which is, you don't move anymore, you got stuck, you're stuck. If you would like to support the museum, please visit our website www.friendsofromania1418.com.